All right. In the last video, we left off talking about installing Windows Server 2012 and Windows 8 Pro. So once we got that set up, uh, you can go ahead and rename it to things like uh, like base. So you can click on the settings and then rename that to base if you haven't already. So once you got that done, you're going to go ahead and want to make these uh, the basis <laughs> for the other the other clones that I have here. So here I'm going to go ahead and create another Windows Server. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Uh, well, I guess it really won't matter because what I'm going to do is uh, probably delete it, at least for now. So here you go. So I have Windows Server 2012. You're going to do the exact same thing for Windows 8. And what you do is you right click and you click on clone the sheep here you want to reinitialize the MAC address of all the network cards because of course you don't want the same MAC address on the same computers that would get very confusing for the router so you click next you want to create a linked clone and click on clone and that's pretty much all it is really and you go ahead and turn it on you can go ahead and um, I'm gonna call this one uh, not test server 20, 2012 go ahead and do that and then you can go ahead and power on your system so let me go ahead and do that go ahead. I guess what I need to do is scale it down uh, scale mode switch Alright, so once I got that scaled, and once this comes up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, resume the video here. Alright, so we're just about logged in again. So here we got Server Manager coming up. And there's actually a couple of issues when you first uh, create the link clone. You see, the problem is that you have a new computer, however, the host name of the computer, the computer name, and the IP address of the computer is exactly the same as your link clone and that is something you don't want uh, you can do that for your first one but for your second server and your second workstation and everything after that needs to be different obviously because it's going to be a different name so uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and change the name uh, first off I go ahead and right click down here and I go to open network and sharing center once you do that you can go to the adapter settings then go ahead and change your IP address to the scheme that you're that you're currently in so I'm using the 192.168.1 so right now it's set up to dot 10 uh, you can put it like dot 12 or dot 11 whatever your your scheme is as far as the IP routing goes uh, this here is going to be the router that we're going to be setting up in I think the next video uh, the DNS server is going to be this is going to be the DNS is still not set up as a DNS yet and this is the alternate one so of course we are in a slash 24 uh, subnet mask so we you gotta modify that to fit your network alright so the next thing you gotta do is configure the computer name you can do that a couple of ways but I like going to the Explorer right clicking on computer and going to properties I believe you can also do uh, Windows pause and this does the same thing uh, you can then go ahead and change the computer name so what I actually did on the initial Windows server I didn't change the computer name from the default so I left it like that that way from here I'm go I'm free to go ahead and change the name to like server 1 or uh, DC 03 or whatever the whatever the deal is in my network and then if I need to add it to a domain once I have a domain controller created then you can go ahead and do that but that's pretty much it for this video and so let me just close out of that power off and I'm going to go ahead and remove this and delete all the files with it.
So yeah. So once you do that, you want to go ahead and create what I did so far is I created two domain controllers and it's probably one of these is also probably going to be a DHCP uh, and the other one's going to be like a Hyper-V file server sort of thing. Might even create another uh, another Windows server here to do like things like file and DHCP things that don't take take up too many resources and just give it like one gig of RAM might even get myself another eight gigs of RAM to put in my computer uh, and then so you want to do the exact same thing here with uh, Windows 8 make sure you rename it and give it a proper IP address range alright so in the next video we're gonna go ahead and talk about how to set up our network with PSSense router and how to get that image uh, installed well not installed because I already showed you guys how to do that in a previous video the previous video of the series and uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how to configure this and how it's done so hope you all enjoy the video and I'll see you all next time